Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA has reached new levels of sellout, guys, specifically with the new triple threat promo and packs in the store. They set a new record yesterday for how early we saw a certain type of pack, and of course, it worked. It went over very well. Prices dropped after they dropped that pack. We're going to talk all about it today and a potential investment opportunity that we are watching very closely that might be a good investment today, but it also could be an even better investment tomorrow. We're going to take a look at that and, of course, cover all the triple threat content because there was a lot. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's start with the objectives because there's uh, there's like so much in here now i'm not going to say that it's so much content that it's like insane so much content it's so much content they went for quantity over quality is what it seems we're starting off with the james madison triple threat objective which was leaked it is exactly as leaked but what is different is the playstyle plus he no longer has the dead ball playstyle plus he has long pass which to me is a bit unfortunate but i'm still going to be completing this card just because i'll be able to do it through playing champs and rivals during this week but the interesting thing about this is this is one of those objectives that also ties in to another objective the triple threat chase combines james madison ledley king and another spurs sbc women's player and you have to use all of those to get this done if you combine all three of those pieces of content it's just like a lot to do and then you have to go play games with them which if you want to grind the game is cool but if you don't at this deep of a level it just seems like too much effort that's kind of my feedback with this for ea this is cool you get some nice packs 83 plus 80 times 5 83 double 83 3 and then you get an 84 times 3 at the very end it just seems like a lot of work because you have to use the madison objective the triple threat hero king and the Neville SBC all together in your team to complete these different objectives. So it takes a lot. Now, there's a lot of confusion with the Ledley King, right? This objective and the two different SBCs for his card kind of combine to get you where you need to go with this card. Now, honestly, there is one of the SBCs for Ledley King that is worth doing every single day, and we'll kind of combine the objective with this SBC and talk about it right now. This objective right here is purely for using his hero card every single day. You get an 81 times two for playing three matches, and you get an 80 times two as well. It's actually really worth it. Whatever games you're gonna play, just sub him on. It says play three, so you don't have to start him in your team. Uh, oh, it does. It says starting 11, but he's a hero, so you get max cam anyway. So just plop him in your in your squad. You can sub him off if you want or try him out, and you can get a Ledley King for basically free every single day with this loan upgrade. Some people are like, Nate, you're going to run out of games. This only has three games on it. Well, you can do this loan upgrade every single day for three bronze cards. So boom, easy three bronze cards from the club. You put into this, you get another loan, then you can complete this objective. So it's a little bit of work, but it's actually kind of worth it for an 81-2 and an 80 times two, I would do that. I'm going to put that into my team. And also you could work on doing this triple threat objective if you wanted to do that with the lone Ledley King as well. Now, also what I want to show you guys is probably one of the first sellout items that EA did yesterday. Let's say you want 2000 XP. Well, you can go to the store, right? You can go to the store right now on this game and pay 80,000 coins, 80,000 coins for this bundle of icons you get the icon um what is it the home kit and the away kit for a hundred thousand coins or 80k if you buy the bundle together for both of the kits and then what you can go and do is get yourself some xp like wow holy sellout from ea man i want 2k xp so i have to go pay uh, uh basically 80,000 coins to get that not worth it in my opinion just get xp from playing rivals and champs and you'll make up that 2000 xp in no time uh, is, is what I would do instead of doing this. I feel like I'm already on level 10. I know this season is a short one. We have 12 days left. But I feel like, what was this, a 21-day season? And I've just barely been paying attention, just playing normal games and getting the regular objectives. And I'm already at level 10, almost 11. So that sort of XP is definitely not one that you have to have. So don't be stressed about it. If you're like, do I have to go buy those kits? No, you definitely do not have to go buy those kits. Now, let's talk more about the SBC content. As we already mentioned, the Ledley King. Now, his full player SBC was dropped yesterday as well. If you don't want to mess around with the loan, 
another center back, right? This is the SBC we expected. It was leaked, and it's pretty much exactly as leaked. Now, the price is the barrier to entry here that's a little bit too much, right? 377,000 coins. He was actually 400k when he first came out. Fodder has dropped a little bit for this SBC card. It's a good SBC. It's not great. It's just a little bit pricey. I still think personally, I rate Thiago Silva over this for the price and the stat differences between those two. Some people would argue that Ledley King is better in game, which is a fair argument. But I think for the price, Thiago Silva is still such a great card to have in this game. The 82 plus player pick dropped, which I would say is not good value, but team of the weeks now um, are literally like, I think they're like 27K. It's crazy how expensive Team Elite cards are, at least 25,000 coins. I heard they were selling for yesterday. Um, EA needs to supply Team Elite tradable cards via a tradable Team of the Week pack here very soon and drop those prices down so that SBCs aren't crazy expensive. Now, speaking of some SBCs, that are a little bit expensive because of Team of the Weeks, there's a great player of the month that EA dropped yesterday, Lautaro Martinez. And this, this is actually a great value SBC. Don't be fooled by the price on Footbin because it requires a Team of the Week in each of the 83 and the 84 rated squads. That's it. An 83 and an 84 rated squad for Lautaro Martinez. If you pack an untradable Team of the Week, this is a great SBC to put it in. It is a nice card. It's not amazing, but it is a very nice, cheap SBC. Again, the price is misleading. It says 84,000 coins, but that's just because Team of the Weeks are inflated. It is not actually 80K. It's an 83 and 84 squad, and if you have untradable Team of the Weeks to put that in there, it's a lot cheaper than that, right? I mean, you have like 50,000 coins of that being the Team of the Week value because informs are like 20 to 25K right now. That's why this SBC seems expensive, but it's actually good value. So that was one of our player of the month yesterday. Also a W dynamic image. And the second one was the very expected, very hyped up Mohamed Salah POTM. And it's actually coming in at a price where we expect it to be. It's about 950,000 coins. I would say is around his like median price. He's been between a million and like 935k where he is now with fodder prices fluctuating. Um, it's nice. You can see it's it's not bad. It's not amazing. It's kind of one of those SBCs. It's like eh, in the middle. It's expensive. And if you want to do it, if Salah is your favorite player or your Liverpool fan, or you just want to have a insane attacker to work towards in this game, it's not a bad SBC. I'm kind of waiting though. I want to see what else comes out this weekend. Again, that potential play of the month Mbappe is one thing that makes me not want to start this and feel like I have to finish it when there might be some other bigger SBCs coming. Now, with this SBC coming out, fodder did move. Fodder did go up yesterday, but it has kind of come down since because of all the madness that has happened since then. You can see Oberdorf yesterday, these cards went up. 87s went from about 17.8K, right around 18,000 coins. They were around 19,000 coins at one point. A lot of them went up like one to 2,000 a card. 86s were up, up slightly. 88s were up slightly. Uh, I think 88s were actually at like 27, 28K. Now they're about at 25,000 coins. And most of that was due to the Salah demand yesterday in this game. Now there's one last SBC. Again, we already kind of covered it, but it's the Neville. This is actually one of the best SBCs on the day, if I'm being completely honest, just because... It's basically a free 88 rated fodder card. Who cares if you want to use Neville in game besides the objective or not? Her card's not that bad, but um, it's an 88 rated fodder card for 17k. Last time I checked, uh, 88s are 25k like we just looked at, so that is a dub, definitely. So that was all the SBC content yesterday. There was a lot with the player of the month, with the Ledley King, the Neville. The promo idea as we take a look uh, at the team... The promo idea here is exactly what was advertised, where you have the three players from the club kind of representing the club, right? The Real Madrid, we've got Chelsea, we did have Liverpool, uh, we've got PSG, we've got Lyon with Cascarino, um, and some other really good players that are inside of here. This promo team, though, it just feels, I think the whole day yesterday just kind of made it feel mid. Like, nothing yesterday felt insane or, like, absolutely incredible. But I will say that this promo team is bringing some pretty usable cards that haven't had promos yet this year or like usable cards in a long time. I'm looking at Carva Hall, who has slide tackle play style plus, who has 87 pace. That is not a bad card or probably one of the most hyped cards right now in this game. Grealish, Jack Grealish getting a very boosted uh, left wing card with finesse plus. Now, I talked about this on stream. My only gripe with this card is 
He's got 80 shooting with Finesse Plus. So is his Finesse Plus actually going to work that well when he only has 80 shot power and 80 finishing? I don't know if you guys have tried him out. Let me know. But I have to imagine that his dribbling with all these traits is insane. Press proven, first touch, flair, and technical. And he's got Finesse Plus on top of that. So that's not a bad card. And as you take a look at the rest of this team, like they did make some of these cards pretty juiced. Kirby looks good. Tiago with a huge pace boost, right? A usable Tiago card. I think he's overpriced. I 100% believe that he's overpriced. But this is a team of players that I think people are kind of excited to try out because it's cards that haven't gotten promos or that their gold cards aren't very usable. And I think there's hype for that. And especially some of the cards that got big upgrades, they look pretty good. The heroes as well, Dirt Kite with the aerial playstyle plus right mid right wing only is a bit interesting but 75,000 coins like guys it does seem like ea made these cards a bit more packable now i didn't pack any myself yesterday but they actually were really really good to trade with on the market we're going to talk about some of these prices here just a second uh in a second i want to look at one last piece of content there's so much stuff that dropped yesterday again it feels like ea went for quantity over quality we had one evolution yesterday not two just one and i want to show you a player that i think you should consider doing in this objective it is this man right here denzel Dumfries. look at this absolute boss of a card that you can get for only what is it like eight or nine games this evolution as well it was advertised to be a little bit more hype than it was the stat boosts are decent you get a nice pace boost nice physical and defensive boost like look at that card 94 physical on Dumfries with all of those play styles He's going to be absolutely insane. I've got a Dalo in the club as well. I mean, Klaus is one that's very popular that people are doing. The best part about this uh, evolution is, again, it's just not a lot of games. You've got 20 days to even start it, but it just feels like a little bit of a smaller upgrade than what we expected. And again, it is exactly as leaked. So if you sold any of those cards, maybe like Wambasaka, um, Vasquez, Pedro Poro into the hype, that was a very good decision because a lot of those cards dropped off. As people see an Evo that isn't that crazy, and a lot of times you sell. That's kind of one thing I want to point out and that we learned from yesterday and recently in terms of this game and on this market. Sell into the hype these Evo cards. Like, look at Wambasaka, man. He's literally back down at discard price. People were buying him yesterday for 5,000 coins, and he is now discard. So it, uh, it's one of those where selling into the hype is key, I think, for these evolutions that get leaked ahead of time now let's talk about the madness and to do that we got to go to the store and actually on top of that there's an issue with the store right now unless ea have fixed it they tweeted out just about what was it an hour ago i think it was about an hour ago yeah two hours ago they tweeted out untradeable packs have been temp temporarily removed from the ultimate team store updates will be provided in this thread when they become available guys they took out like the 133,333 coin pack that was there. Oh my goodness, the lightning rounds are back. Premium season opener to lightning round pack. Wait a second. This is the pack that was the lightning round that EA dropped earlier in the day yesterday. This pack is now back. You can open it twice. Not a lightning round. Okay, that's the other thing we're going to talk about. So they took packs away from the store, all the untradeable ones. Because all the untradeable packs, you can see, right? This logo right here with the handshake, that means it's a tradable pack. If that handshake is grayed out with a line through it that means an untradeable pack and for the last two days in the game packs that have been untradeable still show that logo even though it says untradeable in the description it's still shown that logo as a tradable pack now does this mean that they are going to give out compensation for this i don't know if they give out compensation for that like that is going to be a whole nother crazy market crash in itself because that's wild like that is crazy if they give out compensation for that i don't know if it is technically the pack still said that the, all the items were untradeable and in fact they were untradeable unlike that little i guess insignia would have would have noted uh but it's crazy that they actually made the move to take the packs out of the store we'll see if they update the thread today on saturday or if they add packs back into the store i have to imagine they want to add packs back in because that's you know, money for them. But the other point that I was about to make in talking about that is EA yesterday dropped the first lightning rounds of the year. And it was this pack right here, the premium season opener uh, lightning pack. This is 
a screenshot from the stream yesterday when we were live. This was what it was when it was first put out. It was expiring in one hour and 50 minutes, and they did a community limit on PlayStation and Xbox both, I believe, of 80,000 packs or somewhere right around there. And guys, they sold out in an hour's time because people are like, wow, for 2,000 FC points, I could either open a 100K pack or I could open a 250K pack that gets me five players that are 84 and above, right? As the description of this pack says. So tons of people were opening this pack and it absolutely destroyed the market. It just for like an hour on the game, prices absolutely dropped like crazy. If you take a look at like any of these promo cards, uh, actually, you know who's a really good one to take a look at is Grealish. And it was crazy how like short of a time span this took for, the, for this to drop, right? Grealish, I think, was actually about 240,000 coins when this lightning round pack dropped. He went all the way down to 180k. It shows 214. He was 180, 190,000 coins. And after that hour or so those packs were getting opened he started to rebound back up in price went all the way back up actually to 250k right now he's back at 235 but like all of the entire promo team the entire team of the week like got absolutely destroyed gold cards as well even fodder was dropping like crazy uh like i think salah's sbc was still a million coins when that pack was dropped in the store and now it's 940k so prices everywhere dropped even further because of a lightning round store pack which is crazy and the reason i want to bring this up and we kind of titled the video around this today is the ea selling out this is the earliest they've ever dropped a lightning round pack in the store in the past years of this game which we know this stuff was common right every single year earlier and earlier we get insane packs which makes us just think that all ea is chasing the bag right well this year they're chasing the bag even earlier because they dropped those packs in the store earlier than ever lightning rounds have never come out before black friday and black friday as well is still like two and a half three weeks away and they have already dropped lightning rounds on this game. Albeit, it could have been a mistake because they, they now have that same pack back in the store, as we just saw, as a kind of like two per day type of thing. But it was crazy to see the amount of panic selling and the amount of prices that dropped yesterday on the game because of that lightning round pack opening. It honestly scares me a little bit. Like, could that happen? Could they do that again? Honestly, seeing... The pack now in the store with like a two per day or two per week. Is that what it was? Six days that this has left? Six days, 12 hours to open two of these. I don't think we're going to get it again as a lighting round. Uh, that was probably just a one-off thing. But still, it's just absolutely nuts that EA dropped those lightning rounds. And it just goes to show you what can happen when they drop those types of packs this early on in the game. And also how many people are interested in it. Those packs sold out so fast. Take 2,000 FC points times 80,000 packs and double it for two different consoles. All of those packs sold out. That's how much money that EA made in that, uh, in that hour, two hour time span on this game. Absolutely wild. That's why they run those packs, but they put big packs out and they charge a little bit of dough for them because people will absolutely open them but it did destroy the market and honestly it created some really good opportunities to trade because it was such a quick supply and then kind of once it ran out it was like okay the supply came and everybody was listing cards but then prices kind of rebounded back up just because these are brand new promo cards and they had really good fluctuations because of it i bought a joe cool at 400k sold them at 450 i bought a Karchawi at 475 sold it at 540 um, did I buy anything else? I still own, actually, I own a Kempembe. I bought a Kempembe for 620 I think, and I believe he is somewhere around 680 or 670 at the moment. I'm hoping to, for him to get a little bit rare, and then maybe I can take the cash. Looks like I'm going to have to sell him for like 660 or 670 Maybe I'll chance it for a slight rise this morning. But, yeah, I just can't believe that EA dropped lightning rounds in the store that early. Uh, but there's way more of that to come, guys, 100% when it comes to packs coming out later on this month and later on, you know, in the next couple of weeks with Black Friday upcoming. So let's talk about today on Saturday and let's talk about the market a little bit. First of all, how is the market going to react today on Saturday? Well, my coins are down a little bit because I have picked up a few of these cards from Triple Threat. Guys, I know that it's risky to trade with first day promo cards. And I do believe that cards like Tiago, like look at the price comparison here. Tiago was just 100k on uh, PC and he's 130 
on the combined market. Yes, he was consistently around like 160K yesterday. He was 160 just a couple hours ago. He's dropped off 12%. Could I see a slight rise on some of these promo cards today like Tiago? Yes. Could I see Kirby going up a bit? Grealish, caught of a haul? I could. I honestly could. And I'm interested in trading with a couple of these into the early morning hours today, but I don't think these prices are going to last. So what do we see every single Saturday on this game, guys? We see the brand new promo cards dropping after the midday UK time, right? People get up, uh, they play some champs, they play some games. It's usually actually right around the start time of the football games. Like when the Premier League games start today, which is like 7.30 a.m. my time, which is when uh, Tottenham play Wolves. Uh, you know, that's usually when you see kind of the peak of the prices. So like seven hours after this video goes live. So maybe you could try to trade in and about a couple of those cards today. I've got my eye on a couple of them, like Morientes is usually a card that a lot of people want to buy and try. It just kind of depends on, on the supply and, and also the demand. You have to kind of figure out what cards people want to use. And Morientes is one that I tried out yesterday and he was terrible, like absolutely awful. Also, I was getting matched up against VVD every time I loaded into a champs game. So it's hard to out jump VVD, even if you have the aerial playstyle plus. But, um, you know, this is a card that's Real Madrid links, you know, Spanish hype, and it's pretty cheap. So people might want to try it out. Just keep an eye on a couple of these promos today. There could be fluctuations up, but then I would expect them to be dropping for the few hours heading into the content drop time. Now for today's content, I think it might be a quiet day, but I think we're getting this SBC today. We might have another, you know, it could be an SBC related to the triple threat promo, but also this Giroud has been leaked. And these are the official stats for his card bar the defending stat, right? But 85 pace, 88 shooting, 80 passing, 82 dribbling and 86 physical for a striker Giroud flashback item. This is going to have to be pretty cheap guys. I mean, it looks like a decent SBC. If it's less than like I don't know, how much would you pay for this card? 75K for an SBC value? Like, it's going to have to be an 83 and an 84 rated squad like Lautaro Martinez if, uh, if they're going to require informs as well for it to be well received. He's got great links, very popular player, but he's just not going to be that meta. It's kind of more of like a fun SBC player. I'm not really going out right now and looking at investments like Rafael Leal's gold card. Like, he, look at how, how low he is. Yesterday, he was 42K. And what do we say every single Friday? Golds are going to drop. Don't buy them, right? And now my guy is down to 26,000 coins. He might go up a little bit today as people look to invest in this. Same thing with Teo Hernandez, who provides an even better link. He was 55K yesterday before content and is now 39. Could they go up a little bit today? Yeah, they could. Even Kalulu being a center back. We're not touching center backs really, but you know, there's maybe potential here that this card could go up a little bit today. Sure. But if I were you and if you were trying to invest in any of these or if you're watching the market today, I'd probably sell on the hype just because those confirmed stats for the Giroud card, they don't look that amazing. Um, and it might just be more of a fun type of SBC than anything else. So if you're going to try to trade with that, I would sell on the hype. I'm not expecting too many other crazy movements today on the market on this game. I would say, guys, if you want to trade, watch the out of packs market. We've been saying it a lot, but Centurions, these guys fluctuate a ton. Like yesterday, they had some really good fluctuations. Olga started going up. Williamson rose a bit. Musiala was 615K at one point. Uh, Chiesa, who's actually, whoa, 187. I'm going to try to find that. I know it says it was updated eight minutes ago, but Chiesa at 190K, he was like 215, I think. He just seems to be a bit more of a rare card. And I mean, it's it's very good Serie A links. He right now is, that's a 200. I don't think there's going to be one here. I forgot that he has the uh, the Nike Adam Centurions, Chiesa. Yeah, the 187 is not there. That was definitely an undercut. But, you know, like, look at this card yesterday, right? Yesterday, Chiesa went from 189 all the way to 215. So who's to say that he might not go to 215 again today? That sort of thing, because there is foot champs demand. People are playing those games today. But these out of packs cards move the most, guys. Uh, I flipped a Furlan Mendy yesterday. You saw on my transfer list, I had a Hyunmin Sun. I bought a Hyunmin Sun for 1.05 mil. I bought him like right here, and I sold him right here for like 1.19. I undercut a bit because he had a rarity spike. But these out of packs cards continue to have really good movements. They continue to move a lot. And specifically, Road to the Knockouts. These cards were really good to trade with yesterday because they got really low after the content drop and then rebounded nicely, especially with their upgrades. Their upgrades happened early in the morning. Joao Pedro went all the way down to 430 and then went back up to 470, 480 where he is now. So there are opportunities to trade on this market. Just be careful and try to stick 
to as rare of a card as you can. I know I say it like every single video, but it's the truth, all right? Just be careful with these cards because they are fluctuating a lot, um, and that means good things, but it's the out-of-packs ones that are the safest because they are not in packs getting supplied by lightning rounds and all that stuff. Now, I want to talk about one last thing. SBC fodder. Where is my SBC fodder page? Of course, we have some big packs that are upcoming, guys, right? When I'm talking big packs, I'm talking an SBC that basically everybody is going to want to do. The base hero player pack or also the base icon max 89. Either of those SBCs is probably coming out tomorrow on Sunday. Could be today, but I really think it's going to be tomorrow on Sunday. And this is what we're investing in right now. If you're going to buy fodder right now in this game, you're investing for this SBC. You're, you're investing for this SBC coming out in the next couple of days. And if you're going to invest for it, what do I think you need to invest in? 86s, 87s, and 88s. And I don't know if I'm going to invest today. That's the question that I'm constantly going over in my mind right now is, do we need to invest today? Because as you saw, right, there's probably not going to be any more lightning rounds if that pack that was used as a lightning round is now kind of like stationary in the store. Um, but if there's not a lot of content today, if it's just one SBC like Jerud, would that just mean that fodder would stay the same and, and maybe even have an opportunity to go down a little bit with just regular store packs being opened anyways? It, it might. It really might have an opportunity to stay the same today or start to go down a little bit even as it did yesterday because there's more pack supply, people opening their weekend league rewards. Um, but then again, you could also argue that people may be investing for the, the hero pack or the icon pack, also doing Salah, play them on Sun is still there, Jude Bellingham, so many player SBCs at this moment right now. Um, I think fodder is going to be an investment. The real tricky question is, is it going to be a buy today early hours on Saturday, or will it go maybe a little bit lower tomorrow? Now, I will say this. I don't think it goes up a ton today. So if you want to take the safe route, what I think you might be able to do is just buy a couple, maybe do a little bit of a club stock on some 86s, some 87s, and some 88s, and then wait until tomorrow. And if the prices go a little bit lower, then you can dive in. Because again, guys, the packs that make fodder grow up the most, the SBCs that make fodder grow up the most, are these types of upgrade packs, especially when they're brand new, they have the most hype. When you're able to pack cards like uh, Ginola's base hero card from the other hero SBCs you were not, or Tevez, or um, I'm trying to think of other players that are not packable. Rudy Voller was not packable in the last hero pack, but they will be in this one. There's a lot of hype in that. So keep an eye on your 86s, 87s, and 88s. I say that range because I think this SBC is going to be a bit more expensive. I don't think it's going to be an 84 and an 85 rated squad like the Max 87 hero was. It, it almost has to be a little bit more expensive because the players that you're going to be getting out of it, uh, there's a bigger player pool with more items potentially in it that could be higher uh, bigger pulls and they'd be higher rated and all that good stuff. So that is what I would tell you to do is watch carefully the fodder side of the market buy if you want or wait until tomorrow and we'll assess the situation again. I kind of like the idea of waiting till tomorrow because if EA is going to be wild and out with packs in the store, who knows what's going to be happening today in this game. So I'm going to flip a couple more cards here into the day today. Hopefully we have a little bit of a rise. I'm lazy selling some 83 still. Oh, I got to point out my guy Cockeray. Guys, if you did, if you missed out, this Cockeray, if you haven't done box to box uh, Centurion's midfielder yet, this guy is literally 13k on the market. This card is great as it is, but uh, if you run a League One team, what a midfielder that is! What a midfielder that is with the box to box Centurions. That's a crazy card. He's always OP in game. Always, he's always super good. So um, maybe try the card out for a couple games before you spend the coins on him to Evo him and all the games, but. That is a card right there that uh, made us some coins yesterday in the stream first hour and is also just looking pretty crazy. So I think today on Saturday, though, EA is going to rain it back in after a crazy day yesterday. It'll be a little bit quieter of a day today on Saturday, but a flashback to Rude could be still fun. Probably some store packs as well. Watch EA's tweet once again. Keep an eye on this and uh, we'll try to keep it covered on Twitter as well. We'll talk about it in the videos every single day what happens. But a busy day yesterday, but it felt like a whole lot of just... Okay, right? Promo team, okay. SBCs, okay. Unless you're a Spurs fan. It's like EA paid Spurs a lot for this promo. But that's enough of yapping from me. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.